Hi, Kim Swanson here. Thanks again for joining us on Inside Casting. I'm here with Tracy Winters, and she has some really terrific questions I think you'll enjoy. What's your favorite part of the casting process? My favorite part of the casting process, that's tough. I love it all, really. I think my favorite thing is, is I feel like there aren't many jobs in the world mm. where you get to help people's dreams come true. And this is yeah. one of those few jobs. Yeah. So I love when I fought for someone mm -hmm. and then they get that role and then they do a good job. So number one, they make me look really good because right. I think, oh, wow, Kim really knows what she's doing with casting. She got this really great guy. She fought for him. She knew what she was talking about. Yeah. That's a good feeling. But it's really awesome to see someone's career take off after you've given them that first speaking role or you've helped them get those SAG vouchers right. or, you know, you've given them, you've helped them build that resume or introduce them to a director who then takes their career to the next level. That's a really neat feeling. There aren't many jobs where you get to help people's yeah, dreams come true, true. isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's so wonderful. It's fun. It's a great job, yeah. Um, I want to know a little more about your work with the Regional Casting Committee. Okay. Um, in essence, what happened, being St. Louis-based mm -hmm. and wanting to do be more involved with New York and L.A., and since my background isn't just St. Louis, right. um, I was getting a bit frustrated because I felt like um, the, the regional casting people weren't necessarily forgotten, but we weren't really in the mm -hmm. forefront because mm -hmm. out of sight, out of mind. Sure. So um, made a connection with uh, CSA and said, hey, I think we need to do something to get the regional folks more involved. And so often there are really good casting directors regionally who aren't doing as big of projects, so they're not up for the big awards, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Sure. But they're very good with their job. They're uh, they're an important part of CSA, they're an important part of the acting community mm -hmm. because they're your stepping stone to that next level. Right. And so we decided to kind of bridge the gap and so Venus Kanani, who is a wonderful casting director based in LA, stepped up to the plate and she and I worked together and we hammered out, and Joe Middleton as well I should say, okay. hammered out some ideas on things we can do to include regional casting directors more with those on either coast. Mm -hmm and get those lines of communication going. So we created a whole directory of just regional casting people wow. so that um, if they're casting something, let's say you're casting a project and now they have to do locations mm -hmm. casting in Phoenix, who's my go-to person in Phoenix? Right. Now they have that regional list and they have more information on the, the folks in the Phoenix area who can cast in Phoenix. Like for example, with myself, Although I'm based in St. Louis, I don't cast just St. Louis. I cast Kansas City, I cast Louisville, I cast Cincinnati. Where if you're looking me up on the website right now, it looks like if you're going right. to St. Louis, great. But if, if you type right. in Kansas City, think there's nobody there. Right. But I cast there as well because it's a it's like a three hour drive, sure. so it's not a big deal. Sure, it's a bigger market than it right. looks like. Right. Wow, that's amazing, Kim. Um, I again from your website I understand that you attend um, master acting and dancing classes still can you tell me why you feel that that's important I well I'm you know I'm always I'll always be a gypsy by heart you know <laughs> in my heart once you're a dancer it's always in your it soul is, it is. you can't let it go you know that because yeah. you, you dance I used to dance yeah. right um so I just I love I love the creative aspect mm -hmm. of it and dance and acting isn't necessarily about performing and getting paid although that's a wonderful it thing is. to have happen and that's what we all want actors to get to do but you know in, in all honesty the people who are good at it just love it so yeah. darn much yeah. and you'll just never stop doing it right so yeah so I still do go take master classes on a regular basis and bring in master teachers to St. Louis as well in both acting and dance and just love to jump in. I think it helps me as a casting director mm -hmm. because it reminds me what it feels like right. to be on that side on the of the camera. Side. And even in a class, for example, an acting class where you're sitting across the table like this and the camera's on you mm -hmm. and then you have that playback, you think, oh yeah, I remember how hard that is to, to get rid of that little stupid twitch, thing you do. Tick, right, whatever, the twitch right. or, you know, the the saying okay a million times or whatever it is, you forget about those things and how hard that is and, and mm -hmm. how much work it takes. So I think that it helps me to spot more when people are feeling that moment and yeah, I know they're good, I know they have it right. in them, to help them go, okay, here's something we all do, mm -hmm. I know what you're going through. And I think that when you have a casting director kind of talk you through that, yeah. the nerves tend to help, mm -hmm. you know. Definitely. I, I, and I think that so often, actors forget casting directors we love you we want you to do yes, well we point. want you to come in the room and knock our socks off we're crossing our fingers saying our prayers right. every actor who walks in there please god let them be fantastic because we want you to be good right. 
we want you to nail it. We want you to get that job. When you get the job, we look good. Sure. So we have no interest in making you look bad. We right. want to help you. I think that's a really important point. I think that when I was talking about bridging the gap, I think that because of the nature of the relationship, I think we forget, you know, you guys are human. Right. And you know we're human. Yes. And you, I, I think that that's part of what really moved me about the fact that you still go to class. Oh, I love it. You know. I mean, it doesn't... It just, humanizes. It, right. Well, yeah, yeah, I think so. And, you know, and I think if I was in L.A., maybe I wouldn't have that kind of time. It's a luxury yeah, I have being nice. in a smaller market. Sure. So I can see why it's easy to get away from it. If sure. I was in L.A., there would be a lot of other things I could attend that would be a part of my career more. I would probably go to more premieres, more screenings, right. more plays to see young actors. And, but because my uh, options in that arena are more limited mm -hmm. where I am... You know, I just do it a different way. Right, and I'm not saying every right. cast director should right. attend right. No. class, but no. I just thought it's, it was, it's it was an, a, right. really, uh, like I said, it really moved right. me. It Most really of us me. really enjoy theater. We really enjoy yeah. going and watching or being a part of it in some way, even when it's not our own project. So thanks for joining us on Inside Casting. We have a lot more to come next week, so we look forward to having you join us again.